How you handle money tells me a lot about what's going on inside your heart. How I handle money, how I act around it, how I act towards it tells me a lot about what's going on in my heart. And the reason I know that's not because we're like, oh, they came up with that. No, we didn't. The Bible did. Jesus said it. Jesus said, where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. Of, Of all the temptations that Jesus could have said, this versus God, he picked money. Why? Because Jesus knew for a fact that there would always be, there would always be competition between money and the things that it can buy and between your heart. Yet God sent Jesus, why? Because when Jesus came down, it is the definitive movement of God towards you and me. The reason I tell you that story is because I want you to understand that is the type of definitiveness that God desires from you. He desires for you to make a choice who is gonna sit on the throne of your heart and be definitive in it. Who's it gonna be? Make your choice and stick with it. It's up to you. You can choose whoever and whatever you want, but God wants you to choose him and he wants you to be definitive. Hey, Just like I was definitive towards you, can you be definitive towards me? God clearly showed that he would not hold anything back from you. All he asks is for you to do the same with him. That's it. But the temptation, the temptation is to serve money. The temptation is to live your life chasing a dollar and serving a dollar and working through a dollar. That's the temptation because ultimately, If you're not serving God the way that God has asked you to, then anything that's in the way is literally hindering your relationship to God. And you want to remove as many obstacles as you possibly can between you and between God.